Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and this evening we'll have the latest from the live radar as we do have some heavy rain and a squall line moving through tonight into tomorrow. We'll also have a look at the short range UK Met Office run as we do have multiple weather fronts moving over the coming days with a lot of rain forecasted and we'll also have a look at the longer range models. It does look like autumn is truly going to be arriving with all of this heavy rain. So do remember if you enjoy my videos make sure you do like and subscribe and do remember to follow on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So we do have a look at the live radar, you can see the weather front, uh, or specifically the cold front um, with a squall feature is moving eastwards. Now you can see the beginning sort of formation of this squall line, it is heading towards Belfast at the moment and will probably impacting the Isle of Man over the coming hours as it spreads eastwards. Elsewhere, even when we do not have a school feature, it is very heavy rain regardless. We've got a lot of relief rainfall over western Scotland at the moment, and that's going to be progressing eastwards. And there is a weather warning in eastern Scotland, and I'll show you that in a minute. But this weather, uh, this weather front is going to continue progressing eastwards over the coming hours, and it should hopefully sort of exit out of East Anglia in the far southeast uh, in Kent by around 9, 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. So we could still have some very heavy rain around for rush hour tomorrow morning um, so fingers crossed doesn't make too many impacts but we'll have to see if we do run it back you can see the school line really is starting to develop um, as it moves slowly east and northeastwards um, and it will continue to rapidly develop and get larger if not longer as well and if we do look at the future forecast which is of course a bit ina inaccurate of course you can see it is slowly progressing eastwards and you can see the squall feature there that darker line again it will sort of fluctuate in intensity over the next sort of 12 hours however it is likely to be there and regardless of how intense it shows on the radar you'll have gusty winds and most likely heavy rain as it spreads eastwards and you can see it is a long feature maybe a bit patchy at times but where we do see this proper school feature move through, it may be very intense for sort of maybe 15, 30 minutes here or there. Either side, still a lot of heavy rain, so it could be some disruption tomorrow morning. Now, if we do have a look at the latest weather warning, um, you can see there is a weather warning right now in northeast Scotland. Heavy rain may lead to some disruption on Monday morning from midnight tonight till 12 o'clock tomorrow. So not massively long warning, but accumulations could be 25 to 40 millimetres and perhaps 50 to 60 millimetres as possible in a few spaces. And again, it's like very likely and lower impact. So again, it is just for that accumulating amount of rain. Um, hopefully it won't cause too many impacts elsewhere. But at the moment, the Met Office have seen that this is where there is likely to be some disruption possible. Elsewhere, there still could be some issues, especially associated, associated with that school feature as it heads through England and Wales. But we'll just have to keep an eye on what happens um, throughout tonight into tomorrow morning. Now, if we do have a look at the latest from the UK Met Office run, we can see the heavy rain school feature approaching. And as I'm recording this at around 6, 7 o'clock, you can see the heavy rain is spreading eastwards. And it will rapidly develop in its school feature. By around 5, 6 a.m. it should be spreading through the Midlands. You can see very heavy rain. Quite narrow, but very heavy rain regardless. Lighter rain was still heavier patches, but more widespread across Scotland. Whereas there's a narrower band with heavier rain um, across the south. That school feature does move through London around maybe 8, 9 a.m. For slowly clearing fast East Anglia and southeastern areas by around 10, 11 a.m. And tomorrow, most areas should be reasonably dry, um, especially in the east directly behind the front. But as that polar maritime air mass moves through, we could be seeing a lot more scattered showers, especially in the north and west, um, but becoming more widespread throughout the day. And even through Tuesday, because we've got the unsettled conditions, widespread heavy rain. And by Tuesday evening, we've got more heavy rain pushing in. Could be particularly disruptive, especially across northern England, the Midlands as well. More heavy pulses of rain pushing through increasing soil saturation so with every single of one of these weather fronts it it means um some surface water flooding becomes more and more likely as the ground gets more saturated and then through um early hours of thursday we see another weather front push through not quite as intense but still persistent and at times heavy rain for it doesn't like more areas of rain will be moving through by friday so it doesn't like there is going to be some issues around and there's going to be, oh well, all areas are going to see some rain, if not heavy rain, at times. So do go out and enjoy any dry spells we do see over the coming days. 
as it does look like a lot of the time there will be some rain around. So if we do have a look at the GFS, um, having a look at the long range forecast, you can see at the moment we do have uh, the low pressure system, uh, or at least the mother lobe is out towards Iceland, and we do have smaller low pressure systems, sort of daughter lows developing to the southeast, of the, bringing um, the heavy rain through the country, and it gets again another system through Wednesday, and another system through Thursday, and then another daughter low once again by Friday, and this low pressure eventually does push through the whole country, and we just see repeated small low pressure systems, and by day 10, we are starting to see, um, uh, just, we're starting to see, potentially a northwest southeast alignment. Now this northeast south uh, northwest southeast alignment is not only going to bring in cooler air, but it's also going to bring in even more unsettled weather in from the northwest, polar maritime air masses at times, which is going to mean a lot of showery conditions. And you can see that really cold air towards Greenland, feeding into these low pressure systems that are sucking up warmth from Spain, and that really just spin these low pressure systems up, giving strong winds and potentially heavy rain at times now into the longer term you can see generally things are looking pretty blocked you can see a lot of high pressure up towards greenland we are seeing colder air sink into these low pressure systems very interesting setup seeing seen here and it could could <laughs> potentially bring some very unsettled conditions you can just see low pressure just running into the uk no signs of anything dry, just really autumnal and unsettled. So we do have a look at the GM, see that how that does compare. You can see, generally, uh, we have low pressure involved, similar to the GFS, and continually running through and towards day 10. Once again, more low pressure involved. Not quite that northwest southeast alignment we saw with the GFS, but still unsettled and reasonably cool with this mother low sitting towards Iceland, just feeding in smaller air of low pressure, it's on its edge, um, just bringing in really unsettled and autumnal conditions, looking pretty miserable out there, but I guess a lot of areas do need some rain, um, and it was inevitable that we were going to see um, a westerly breakdown at some point, um, we always do throughout the autumn, we're going to get always get a good week or two of this sort of very autumnal pattern, just hope that this isn't it until May, April time. Uh, sorry, March, April time, and hopefully we do see some more settled weather and maybe some more northern blocking, similar to what we saw on the end of the GFS run at 384 hours, which could, in a couple of months' time, bring something a little bit more wintry. So if we do now have a look at the latest from the ECMWF, and then we'll have a look at the GFS on uh, at the end of the video. Again, very unsettled over the coming days, a lot of low pressure pushing through, right towards 240 hours, it is pretty blocked. Uh, you can see high pressure up towards Scandinavia, high pressure ridging up towards Greenland, but generally, because of the placements of the low pressure, we are generally a little bit milder. But there is a bit of a plunge of colder air coming into Iceland. Once this low does move through, we could be tapping into some of that colder air as well. But still, generally unsettled, reasonably cool, nothing dry at all. And there is very good model consensus up to day 10, which is going to be staying unsettled. Now, I can't rule out there being a dry day here or there, especially in the east and the south, um, away from the centre of the lows. But it is still looking like many areas will be seeing heavy rain. And pretty much every day there will be a risk of showers, if not weather fronts and longer spells of rain. Um, so as I said earlier, do go out and enjoy if we do uh, enjoy any sunny and dry weather we may see over the coming week or two. So we do finally have a look at the GFS ensembles if we quickly do update it. Now, the full uh, 12Z hasn't quite come out yet, only got up to day 10, but you can generally see over the next 10 days, it's going to be around or below average temperatures and a lot of precipitation in London. You can see the big temperature drop around 8 to 9 degrees, 850 HPA temperature drop as that cold front sweeps through overnight tonight. Um, and then it just generally is a bit up and down as we do have that sort of westerly zonal flow, warm fronts, warmer sectors and cold front, colder sectors moving through. So... Pretty autumnal and pretty standard for a zonal outlook. And you can see a lot of precipitation sp spikes around. If we do have a look at the 6 head run to give us a bit of a longer term outlook, you see generally that sort of pattern continues. Very up and down temperatures around average. Some going really warm, some going a lot colder, but still a lot of precipitation around. If we do have a look at the sea level pressure, generally it is lower pressure. You can see most of the time it is below uh, 1,015 millibars. So low pressure moving for the moment, then a bit of high pressure, 
then low pressure returns, high pressure, and then does it look look like from around the 1st of October um, for that sort of next seven days, it looking like pretty much low pressure is control, potentially dipping down to 1,000 millibars or lower. Uh, and that's pretty deep um, low pressure systems for London because remember, these low pressure systems are sort of staying out uh, in the north and the west. So for London, we're seeing sort of the outer bands of these low pressure systems still seeing the weather fronts and the strong winds, but not quite the center of the lows. I do suspect if we go further northwards, um, and when we have a look at uh, Glasgow in a minute, it is much deeper there as well. But in the longer term, potentially a little bit more of a rise in pressure, but still nothing spectacular. So if we do finally have a look at Glasgow, um, and we do have a look at the 6Z run, you can see very low pressure, um, especially around that 3rd, 4th October time, but generally low pressure for the foreseeable future. You see up and down um, every day, really, and then that 7-day gap from the 1st around the 7th, 8th October, generally it is quite low pressure. And around 3rd or 4th October, getting down to maybe 990 millibars, which is pretty deep low pressure systems. Um, we've seen deeper low pressure systems, but still it is pretty deep um, and would potentially be giving a, a name storm in within that if we do see um, significant impacts again we'll have to see near the time what happens on the short range models if we do see some real spinning up of the, these low pressure systems but at this stage it does look like it could be turning very stormy and if we finally do have a look at the 850 hpa uh, and precipitation uh, you can see very, very, very unsettled. A lot of big, big precipitation spikes and temperatures generally below average at times, maybe recovering to average, but generally below average in the longer term, around average, but again, will feel cooler under all that um, unsettled conditions and rain. A really messy ensemble chart list, but it is a proper autumnal image with pretty much every day seeing some heavy rain or heavy showers. And again, you could see around that 3rd, 4th October mark, we could be seeing something quite significant because you can see there is a big uptick in um, precipitation spikes and some go up towards 30, 40 millimetres of rain. And we'll have to really keep an eye on that date. It is around a week or so time and it's one of those small low pressure systems off that mother low moving through. Um, and that could be providing some significant impacts just having a look at what the pressure was showing and what the precipitation is. And we'll have to keep an eye on that over the coming days. So anyway, make sure you go out and enjoy any dry and warmer weather we do see over the next week or so. As it looks like a lot of the time we will be seeing a lot of rain and showers around as well. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.